MPEG-4 Part 3 or MPEG-4 Audio is the third part of the ISO IEC MPEG-4 International Standard developed by Moving Picture Experts Group. It specifies audio coding methods. The first version of ISO IEC 14496-3 was published in 1999. The MPEG-4 Part 3 consists of a variety of audio coding technologies, from lossy speech coding, general audio coding, lossless audio compression, a text-to-speech interface, structured audio and many additional audio synthesis and coding techniques. MPEG-4 audio does not target a single application such as real-time telephony or high-quality audio compression. It applies to every application which requires the use of advanced sound compression, synthesis, manipulation, or playback. MPEG-4 audio is a new type of audio standard that integrates numerous different types of audio coding, natural sound and synthetic sound, low bit rate delivery and high quality delivery, speech and music, complex soundtracks and simple ones, traditional content and interactive content. Versions, subparts, MPEG-4 Part 3 contains following subparts, subpart 1, main, subpart 2, speech coding, HVXC, subpart 3, speech coding, CELP, subpart 4, general audio coding, AAC, twin VQ, BSAC, subpart 5, structured audio, subpart 6, text-to-speech interface, subpart 7, parametric audio coding, HILN, subpart 8, technical description of parametric coding for high-quality audio, subpart 9. MPEG-1 slash MPEG-2 audio and MPEG-4, subpart 10, technical description of lossless coding of oversampled audio, subpart 11, audio lossless coding, subpart 12, scalable lossless coding, MPEG-4 audio object types, MPEG-4 audio includes a system for handling a diverse group of audio formats in a uniform manner. Each format is assigned a unique audio object type to represent it. Object type is used to distinguish between different coding methods. It directly determines the MPEG-4 tool subset required to decode a specific object. The MPEG-4 profiles are based on the object types and each profile supports different list of object types. Audio profiles The MPEG-4 audio standard defines several profiles. These profiles are based on the object types and each profile supports different list of object types. Each profile may also have several levels, which limit some parameters of the tools present in a profile. These parameters usually are the sampling rate and the number of audio channels decoded at the same time. Audio storage and transport. There is no standard for transport of elementary streams over a channel because the broad range of MPEG-4 applications have delivery requirements that are too wide to easily characterize with a single solution. The capabilities of a transport layer and the communication between transport, multiplex, and demultiplex functions are described in the Delivery Multimedia Integration Framework in ISO IEC 14496-6. A wide variety of delivery mechanisms exist below this interface, for example, MPEG transport stream, real-time transport protocol, etc. Transport in real-time transport protocol is defined in RFC 3016, RFC 3640, RFC 4281 and RFC 4337. LATM and LOAS were defined for natural audio applications, which do not require sophisticated object-based coding or other functions provided by MPEG-4 systems. Bifurcation in the AAC Technical Standard The advanced audio coding in MPEG-4 Part 3 Subpart 4 was enhanced relative to the previous standard MPEG-2 Part 7, in order to provide better sound quality for a given encoding bit rate. It is assumed that any Part 3 and Part 7 differences will be ironed out by the ISO standards body in the near future to avoid the possibility of future bitstream incompatibilities. At present there are no known player or codec incompatibilities due to the newness of the standard. The MPEG-2 Part 7 standard was first published in 1997 and offers three default profiles, low-complexity profile, 
main profile and scalable sampling rate profile. The MPEG-4 Part 3 Subpart 4 combined the profiles from MPEG-2 Part 7 with perceptual noise substitution and defined them as audio object types. EAAC High Efficiency Advanced Audio Coding is an extension of AACLC using spectral band replication and parametric stereo. It is designed to increase coding efficiency at low bit rates by using partial parametric representation of audio. AAC SSR, AAC Scalable Sample Rate was introduced by Sony to the MPEG 2 Part 7 and MPEG 4 Part 3 standards. It was first published in ISO IEC 13818-7, Part 7, Advanced Audio Coding in 1997. The audio signal is first split into four bands using a four-band polyphase quadrature filter bank. Then these four bands are further split using MDCTs with a size K of 32 or 256 samples. This is similar to normal AACLC which uses MDCTs with a size K of 128 or 1024 directly on the audio signal. The advantage of this technique is that short block switching can be done separately for every PQF band. So high frequencies can be encoded using a short block to enhance temporal resolution, low frequencies can be still encoded with high spectral resolution. However, due to aliasing between the four PQF bands coding efficiencies around FS-8 is worse than normal MPEG-4 AACLC. MPEG-4 AAC SSR is very similar to ATRAC and ATRAC-3. Why AAC SSR was introduced, the idea behind AAC SSR was not only the advantage listed above, but also the possibility of reducing the data rate by removing one, two or three of the upper PQF bands. A very simple bitstream splitter can remove these bands and thus reduce the bit rate and sample rate. Example, four subbands. Bit rate equals 128 to kbits, sample rate equals 48 to kilohertz, f low pass equals 20 to kilohertz, three subbands, bit rate 120 to kbits, sample rate equals 48 to kilohertz, f low pass equals 18 to kilohertz, two subbands, bit rate 100 to kbits, sample rate equals 24 to kilohertz, f low pass equals 12 to kilohertz, one subband. Bit rate 65 a kbits, sample rate equals 12 a kilohertz, f low pass equals 6 a kilohertz. Note, although possible, the resulting quality is much worse than typical for this bit rate. So for normal 64 a kbits AACLC a bandwidth of 14 a euro 16 a kilohertz is achieved by using intensity stereo and reduced NMRs. This degrades audible quality less than transmitting 6 a kilohertz bandwidth with perfect quality. BSAC, Bit Sliced Arithmetic Coding is an MPEG-4 standard for scalable audio coding. BSAC uses an alternative noiseless coding to AAC, with the rest of the processing being identical to AAC. This support for scalability allows for nearly transparent sound quality at 64 kbits and graceful degradation at lower bit rates. BSAC coding is best performed in the range of 40 kbits to 64 kbits, though it operates in the range of 16 kbits to 64 kbits. The AAC BSAC codec is used in digital multimedia broadcasting applications. Licensing in 2002, the MPEG-4 Audio Licensing Committee selected the VIA Licensing Corporation as the licensing administrator for the MPEG-4 Audio Patent Pool. See also, TwinVQ, one of the object types to find in MPEG-4 Audio Version 1, MPEG-4 Part 2, MPEG-4 Part 14 Container Format, Digital Rights Management, Advanced Audio Coding, ISO IEC JTC 1 slash SC 29, references. External links, Apple, MPEG 4, AAC, EAAC, EBU subjective listening tests on low bit rate audio codecs, AAC radio stations, online radio stations in AAC format, Tuna 2, directory of radio stations in AAC plus format at various bit rates, Radio Feeds UK and Ireland. 
page containing plenty of terrestrial stations we casting in AAC Plus format. 1. A page comparing codecs including he AAC at 64 kbits by listening tests. Official MPEG website, RFC 3016. RTP payload format for MPEG4 audiovisual streams, RFC 3640, RTP payload format for transport of MPEG4 elementary streams, RFC 4281, the codex parameter for bucket media types, RFC 4337, MAM type registration for MPEG4.